This is 2D Design with Rob Colvin. For this video, I'm covering our first assignment where we will create these six images which illustrate shape with repetition and contrast. We have repetition with contrast in color and then contrast in size, contrast in shape, Contrast in orientation, repetition with alignment, and repetition with proximity. So let's begin by creating our first image. So we go up to File, on New, where you can do Command N or Control N on your PC. So once we have done that, we get a new window. We want to go over here and choose inches. Let's make it four by four inches, 150 pixels an inch. We want it to be RGB color, 8-bit. We want our background black, so choose black and click Create. Now we have a canvas space in which to work. We are going to do repetition of a shape. So I'm going to go over to the marquee tool here. Press M on your keyboard or go over and select it manually. We want to choose the elliptical marquee tool. Now if you click and drag you get various sizes of ellipses. We don't want that. We want a perfect circle, so press shift and hold, click and drag, and you get a circle that is perfect. Now we want to fill that circle with color, but we don't want that to be on our background because we want to be able to move it. So let's go over to our layers palette and click on a new layer, this icon shows new layer. So here we have a new layer. We can fill this now. Go up to Edit, down to Fill. Click on Fill and we have a choice of color or background color or foreground. We do not want to use one of those. That's foreground, background. So click on color and pick a color. And click OK and it is filled with a color. OK, so let's say we didn't like that color and we wanted to go back. Command Z is your friend. If you want to step back, you want to go back forward, do Command Z, it'll step forward. Let's say I wanted to keep going back. I do Option Command Z. So on your PC, it's Alt Control Z. So Control Z will step back on your PC. So remember, Command Z will step back or step forward. Option Command Z will keep stepping back. Alt Control Z on the PC. So we want to get rid of this marquee line around our shape. Easy way to do that as long as you are in the marquee tool is to click on the outside. Another way to get rid of the marquee line is do command D, that's D as in deselect, or control D on your PC. We are going to repeat this shape because we are doing repetition. Let's go over and grab our move tool. It's up here at the top, or press V on your keyboard. V for Move Tool. Okay, there's several ways we can copy this image. We can do Command A, where we select the whole layer. And then we do Command C. So C for Copy, that was Command A for A is an Apple. Command C is in copy, that's Control A and Control C on a PC, and Command V for paste, or Control V 
That's V is in victory for paste. Now we have another layer. We can grab that and move it. Another way to copy a layer is to press Option on your keyboard or Alt on your PC. See how we get the double arrow there? So if you're on that shape, you will press Option or Alt, click and drag, and it copies the shape you just did. So that's an easy way to do it. Another way to copy a layer is do Command J or Control J on your PC, and you will have a duplicate layer. So I have two layers right here. They're directly on top of each other. So I grab my move tool. I can move these shapes around. The reason I can just grab each shape specifically is because auto select up here is checked. If that is not checked, the only layer I can move is this layer that is selected. So if I want to grab that, it's not going to do it. If I want to grab that, so I'd have to specifically select the layer to grab it. So what I want to do is have auto selects checked and that will help me to move things around more easily. So remember I'm doing repetition. If I press Alt or on my PC or Option on my Mac, I can grab a shape and copy it. I can press Option again or Alt and do make another copy. Now remember I'm doing contrast in size, so or did I say color? I don't remember. Anyway, let's do contrast in size. So I'm gonna choose the elliptical tool again, and it's contrast in size, so I will make another circle. So click. I forgot to push down shift, press down shift click and drag and I get a perfect circle. Now that we have a larger circle, we want to fill that with color, but we do not want to do it on the same layer as a smaller circle. So you see if we fill that now, it would be on the same layer as that small one. So go over to the layers palette and click on the layer icon. And we have a new layer. Go up to edit, down to fill, the color in the queue will be the same as what we have already chosen, so click OK. You do Command D or Control D to deselect. And press V for your Move tool. And now we have contrast in size. So whenever we have a repetition, we want variety. Of course, the only variety we're getting here is contrast in size, but we can also get another kind of variety with distances between shapes and some shapes going off the frame. So I'm trying to get a composition that I like. So now we have our contrast in size repetition with contrast in size. So I'm going to go to file and I am going to save as. So type in contrast dash size. We want to save it as a PSD, that is a Photoshop file, because we have layers. So click Save and OK, and now we have saved it. Now we want to flatten it and save it as a JPEG. So a quick way to flatten it is select the top layer, press shift and click the bottom layer and do command E and that will flatten it. I'm going to step backwards, command Z, Z is in zebra, 
and then I'll show you another way to flatten it. Go to layers, go all the way down and flatten image. Now we want to save it as a JPEG, save as. So we'll go to this option here, go down to JPEG. See it is a JPEG now, click save, save it as the maximum quality because it is a tiny file anyway let's keep it that so we have a final finished image for contrast in size which we will copy and paste into our future image